entire day codes matter. Man, this is a common topic here. Let's try to address this here. Uh, so here I am trying to find video proof of the age of the tire, and I'm an idiot. And it's on the other side. There we go. Figured it out. Never claim to be very smart here, guys. It's fine. 3016, there we go. Barney style, 30th week of 2016. That's how you read the day codes. All right, like I said, I'm not uh, any kind of expert on tire uh, construction here. I'm just a club racer, right? This is just my own two cents. Golden rule, as always, if you doubt the tire, replace it because a set of tires is always cheaper than crashing. I can promise you that. Been there, done that. I'm sure many of you guys can also vouch for this. Uh, be prepared to go on warp speed here. I wanted to keep this a single clip because uh, I know there's probably some bean bags out there that would probably accuse me of saying that I stitched clips together or something. Um, if anybody wants the full unedited clip I would be happy to do so but for the sake of brevity I just decided to fast forward the first couple laps here because this takes way too long and I'm trying to keep this basically under five minutes. Um, so tire feels really good. Uh, I want to make another clip later on on discussing used tires and wear and what I feel like when I look at replacing them. But this is, to keep it on topic, this is just purely for uh, new old tires like I have, right? So I picked these up pretty cheap um, and I decided I didn't want to race on them, but I decided I'd do a track day on them, right? So here we go, getting ready. That's Dylan Davis. I've known him for years, so I'm comfortable sliding up next to him. Um, but so far, I'm two laps in, right at the out lap and one flyer lap with some traffic. And the bike's feeling, it's feeling solid. I personally, at this point, cannot tell the difference between this or a brand like new, new tire that's made within the last year or two. All right, so now to answer the question that some of you guys are probably thinking, okay, well, if the age of the tire doesn't really matter to you, what does matter to you? Uh, number one thing, if the tire is brand new, like the one that I put on here, is I'm gonna say it's probably how it was stored that matters to me most. Um, and how do you know how an old tire was stored? I bought these tires secondhand off a guy that had them for a number of years. Uh, do I know that he didn't leave these things in his trailer in direct sunlight for years on end? I have no idea, right? So I did this very uh, quote unquote scientific method here of uh, using my fingernail and I pushed it into the tire and it, 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 it felt soft, it felt great. It, it really, I couldn't tell a difference um, from what a new one in my garage felt like uh, and it, it, it felt good enough um, and it felt good enough that I said that whatever I'll send it uh, but again uh, I'm not a tire expert if you have any doubts just buy new from your local tire vendor whichever brand you ride that's the default answer that's always the safest and best option all right so to recap um, if you have any doubt in your tires, replace them. Get with your local trackside vendor, whatever brand you run, get them changed out. There's nothing that helps a rider more than that mental confidence. It's key and it's, and it's absolutely huge, right, for anybody, including myself and any other rider out there on track. However, if, you know, you run into some tires and they seem sore decently and they seem soft and they seem decent enough, Man, I, I wouldn't be afraid of running them. Here we go. 40A3. That's pretty solid for a track day. A pit race on a 600 if you ask me. No complaints. Seven year old front tire. Felt great. Uh, went on later to run a 47 flat with this very same front tire. Um, that's it folks. Catch you on the next video.